Welcome to the Janus Time Card Tutorial on how to use the Time Card Detail View. Let's begin by clicking the Time and Expenses menu option and click Time Cards to the left. We're going to click on the current open time card period. I'm going to click on the Hide Navigation Pane button. Now the system defaults to the Time Card View. I'm going to click on the tab called Time Card Detail because that's the view I want to use. I notice that there are columns that I don't want appearing on my screen. I'm going to click on the File Cabinet icon to the left of my screen. I'm going to click on Task. I'm going to hold down my Control key and click on Description, Release. Then I'm going to scroll down click on, hold down my control key, then click on location, click on control key, click on location description, release, scroll up, and all four are selected. I'm going to click on the left arrow, and now they are moved to the available column section, and they are no longer selected columns. To save my changes, I'm going to click save, and they are no longer appearing on my screen. Next, I'm going to hit the plus key to add a line to my time card. Click the magnifying glass, and I'm going to resize this screen. Stretch it, and stretch this screen. Just like this and then I'm going to save these changes. And I have to click save right here and it'll save the resizing. So now let's choose a job, select, and I'm going to enter eight hours in play. I'm going to click the save icon here. I might also want to move a column by clicking and holding the column and moving it to one or to the right or one to the left. In this case, I'm moving it over to the left. Once I've made that change, I need to click on the file icon and save. And now it has saved that change. I'm going to exit by going to dashboards and go back to capture dashboard. And then I'm going to go back into the time card screen to see if my changes are still available the way I left them. Time card, time cards. On the period, on the time card detail tab, and all my changes are still there. Now just so you know, there are times where you need to spread these columns across your screen and in that case, you would click the Fit to Screen button up on top. On my screen, they seem to be fine. Another um, instance is when you have a small laptop. Sometimes you have a scroll bar that you're missing that you need to use to scroll back and forth, left and right. To do that, you may need to click this button up here, and it will change your screen on the smaller laptops. This concludes my tutorial on how to use the time card detail view on our time card application.